Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Repair. My name is Steve, and today we are going to have electricity put in the barn. And I'll walk you guys through everything that I had to do to get electricity brought in here. Really not very hard. Tri-County Electric is the one that does electricity in this uh, county. I called them up, uh, scheduled an appointment for them to come out. And uh, when he, he called me when he got here before I got here. I told him, I said, here's what, I, here's what in my mind what I was thinking of doing, and I want to do it the most cost-effective way. I was looking at maybe five or $6,000, spending five or $6,000. That's kind of what I set aside for it. But, so the first thought of mine was, was over here on this north fence line, that goes all the way up to the east end of the property. Let me show you. Okay, so right through here, you can see on Pam's side here, the left, there's no trees. On my side, there are trees. He said in order for him to come down with poles coming down that line, that he's gotta have 20 foot clearance on either side. So we came over to the back side of the property here. And here was the other option. The other option was to take it off this pole of my neighbor's property. And you can barely see it. Well, it's right, right in there. What he says, he goes, here's what I would do if it was mine. You got a decent opening through here. Had to take a few mesquite trees out. And, and what we can do is we can come off of that pole, come out 30 feet, drop a pole, one pole there, stake it with guy wires, bring it all the way up to, I think he said, about where that where that mesquite bush is right there maybe just just past that put another pole and then he'll come from there all the way to this back corner here underground three inch pvc and i was thinking man that would be perfect because i wouldn't have any wires coming up to like an overhead mast above the meter and he said my part of it would be is I need to mount the meter box here. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this 200 amp box I have right down here. They would take care of the rest of all of this. They would come right up, all the way up into the end of the meter base. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the meter box. I'm gonna mount the breaker box panel. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear that area out, mow down some trees make a nice wide path for those guys to get through so let's get started with this right now okay so here's the instructions or the guidelines that tri-county wants me to have and you can see center of meter must be mounted five and a half feet above finished grade so that's the only thing i need to worry about right now i get this meter and uh, mark where the hole's going to go and i've got a two inch piece of conduit right here here's some of the stuff that's going to be used Two inch conduit, some uh, bushings, lock rings, and outside on this box, um, I'm gonna put a, a grounding rod because it does specify a 5 8 eight foot copper ground rod within six inches of the ground. So um, anyway, let's get started on this. According to Tri-County picture, they want to have an offset box like this. They're going to come in right here with their power and they want to be able to easily go into it. Um, so I, I paid a little bit extra to get this kind of box. This box here was uh, $94 is what this cost at Dealers Electric. See how this is. They can come right in here, come in right into their lugs as opposed to the other way would be in the smaller box. It'd have to take it and tuck it in and twist the, the, the leads around to come into the top over here. And then uh, my leads, what we'll hook up here in a minute, will come out here at the bottom. And Dealers Electric, I told him I needed some two watt cable. And he goes, hey, you know what? I got some, uh, I got some scraps back there I'll just give you. So he gave me this cable. All right, finished grade is gonna be about right there, probably two inches below the concrete I'll have dirt and rock right up to that ledge and so 
five and a half feet up from that point is where they want the center of the meter. And that's gonna put it right here, right where that lap screw is, uh, roughly where five and a half feet would be. And that's gonna be the center of the meter. The actual hold that goes through is gonna be uh, six inches below that where it goes into the panel inside. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can straddle these two high spots on these ribs with that box real quick. Yeah, sure enough. Mark that hole outside. Double check here. Oh, it needs to come up in an inch. So let's go ahead and tighten this lock nut up on here, salt, make that nice and solid. And then what I'll do is I'll put some uh, some duck seal. I'll just make a big bead around this back side of the duck seal and shove it right in that hole to seal that up. sure if this is the right size ground wire <clears throat> but you know if it's not I think Tri-County can probably change this up pretty easily So my preference is to knock this ground rod below, uh, below grade 
and I couldn't get it any further than that. It's almost all the way in. Um, but I think the instructions were talking about uh, this being six inches above grade. So I'm gonna put it up above grade right here. And then if they wanna knock it down further, they can. Thing all put together uh, turned out okay I'm not gonna put the cover on right now Tri-County told me to make sure this was off in here and to leave a note 
out here on the box saying that the, the panel inside was turned off. So that's, uh, that's gonna do that. Now the next thing to do is to tackle this opening real quick. Thank you. 